Hello, good morning or afternoon for some of us. My name is Dom Unique, but I just go by Dom. If you pop on, please say hello. Um, no matter how many times I do this, I always get nervous. <laughs> so please say hi, tell us where you're tuning in from. I really hope I'm in the right group. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but anyways, um, I hey Stephanie, okay, I'm pretty sure I'm here. I don't see comments just yet. But um, I know that if I don't have them, your stylist will definitely take care of you. Thank you so much for joining us on this lunch break short take. Again, my name is Dom Unique, but I just go by Dom. I am a former naval nuclear electrician by trade. I'm a mama to three beautiful boys through blessings and fate. And I am a Park Lane jewelry stylist by choice. So... Um, I want to share a little bit about myself before we roll into this because um, this is this is such a fun topic today we're gonna talk about layering necklaces and um, this is really fun for me um, hello everyone hi <laughs> I'm so excited um, gonna try to keep this brief for you because I know it's your lunch break or you've got stuff to do if you're like me your kids um, are at home doing e-learning because of the weather and it's crazy. Um, but, hey Dawn, okay, sorry, uh, I digress. Um, we're gonna talk about necklace layering and I'm going to share my three top tips with you on layering necklaces to keep it easy because I don't know if you're like me, um, you enjoy cooking but you need a recipe maybe, okay? Or maybe you're one of those, you walk in the store, you see it on a mannequin, you love it. Um, I was always that person. If it's on a mannequin, if it's set and ready for me, I'm good to go. If it comes to being a little bit more creative, I might, I might need a little bit of help. So I absolutely love the fact that our team especially is so giving and so sharing the community of support we have. I actually, um, I got into this because um, after the military, when I was staying home with my three boys, I quickly realized, you know, going from a worker V to a stay at home mommy, I really needed something for me. I needed an outlet. Um, jewelry was not on my radar. I didn't wear a lot of jewelry. I did nine years in the Navy. I was a boy mom to three under three, okay? So I wasn't wearing a lot of baubles, a lot of sparkle. Um, I barely got dressed every day, let's be real. Um, but um, jewelry found me. I actually got into to direct sales with a different company. I'm still with that company. When I stumbled across Park Lane and Brandy Bauman, the Brandy Bauman, we met in a vendor event actually. Um, and and she shared the impression bracelets and I just fell in love with those I was like okay how do I get one of those and we talked about a party and it was all downhill after that I just loved it um, sparkle makes you feel good right it is a feel good it's an energy and the women we have on this team will tell you it's a confidence builder you just show up differently in the world um, I didn't even have my ears pierced when I first started, okay? Um, but I always loved necklaces. In the military, we didn't get to wear a lot of jewelry, obviously, you know, job hazard there. But we got to wear like maybe a dainty piece underneath our uniform if it was something of symbolism. So I am really all about the dainty pieces. I love that. So when I hosted my first party, drop a one, two, or three if you have one or all of these. One, two, or three of these pieces. A rue necklace a halo, and a Brinley, okay? If you have one of those, drop a one. If you have two of those, drop a two. If you have all three, drop a three. If you're like me, you got all three. Those are like the basic, basic, perfect layering pieces. So my first tip is gonna be based off of those three pieces. This is a little embarrassing, my halo. <laughs> My halo I don't have anymore. I actually, it's almost three years old now, so I sent it back to, um, with that unconditional guarantee, I sent it back. It was a little bit tarnished, so I sent it back. They're sending me a new one, so I'm gonna sub in one of the brand new impression necklaces for you for my halo, but just work with me, imagine, okay? Use your imagination here, ladies. We're gonna undress our mannequin a wee bit, just for a second, so we can see this. So, dainty layers. that. Fine jewelry look without the price tag, right? Um, we've got the Halo, we've got the Brinley, we've got the Rue, right? Okay, so I'm gonna work with 
the impression as my halo right now. If you don't know what the halo is, it's that three carat floating CZ with the gold chain. The impression is a um, basket style setting with the three carat gem. They come in six different colors right now. I absolutely love them. Not including those gorgeous um, limited edition colors you get, right? So um, the Brindley, I love it because it's that designer look you can play with it make it your own do the crossbar do the little u shape whatever works for you right um and then the rue of course the rue we all love rue fine jewelry look fine without the price tag right it's an awesome cart starter but we can all agree this is a very simple elegant look goes great with everything if you want to play with layering necklaces i recommend those three pieces right off the bat Okay, now you may notice when you're layering these pieces, you, um, they may get tangled, your um, gemstones may, you know, wanna fight for who's first. Sometimes even um, with these awesome extenders, they get a little bit of weight and then one decides to like abort mission and you've got like this extender up front <laughs> and this little, your other one, you know, in the, in the front and the back, right? So um, what you're gonna do to avoid this, you can line them up on the counter or you can do it freehand like I'm gonna show you. Undo your necklaces, okay? Undo those super quick. You can do this with me if you want. If you're a visual learner, that's great. Or you learn by doing. You're gonna take opposite ends. So you're gonna take your extension end of one necklace and your lobster clip end of the other. And you're going to connect them. Basically making one super long necklace, okay? Now you can do this two ways, whatever works better for you. You can put it on like a scarf in the front, you can put it on in the back, but crisscross applesauce, you gotta twist them. So if it's easier for you to reconnect them in the front or the back, whatever works, but you're gonna have to connect them. So I find if I'm not doing it on a mannequin, it's easier for me to crisscross applesauce in the back and then have my extenders in the front. If you're doing it that way, you're going to then connect opposite extensions again. Lobster clip to extender. They may look crazy at first. Grab both your pendants, grab your extenders and flip them. Okay. Now what you have here is a cute little pulley system so you can create your own long layer you can create your own short layer but it's really simple and easy to play with you get the perfect length for what you want and what works best for you the awesome part about it is if those extenders you know they do get a little bit heavy during the day you can easily just give it like a gentle tug and readjust no mess no fuss it's easy i will say this is not a perfect system, especially when you have two chains of the same style and um, similar width, okay? So we're gonna follow up on that in a minute, but similar style, similar width chains do tend to get a little bit um, mixed up, right? We all might notice that they tend to get twisted, right? So if that is happening to you, what you can do is sprinkle just a little bit of baby powder on it or um, cornstarch. This is actually going to um, help with um, a little bit of sweat, wi sweat wicking that you may produce. Um, it's going to help actually clean your jewelry, which it should be safe for all of your plated jewelry. Worst case, we have the unconditional guarantee, right? But, um, and then also it's gonna keep them from, help keep them from tangling up. It's not a perfect system, but it's something worth trying. So if you love that, if you love those pieces, maybe you're a silver girl, you can sub those out, of course. I have the Rue and Silver right now. So we'll do our Rue and Silver here. And then the Brindley only comes in gold. If you love that, maybe try the Pearl Necklace. This is an awesome style drop unlocker, ladies, this Pearl Necklace. Sorry, my hands are super dry from the weather we are having in Indiana right now. If you guys are experiencing cold temperatures, I'm praying for you. It is, it's, it's a cold one. Okay, so here we have the silver rue and the pearl, that almost um, white gold look, these very pretty um, 
clear silver chains. I love those. Um, and then again, you can add in your impression necklace for a pop of color. It's great. You can make it, use your pulley system to make it fall where you want it, okay? So whatever works best for you. You can play with these. Um, but that's an easy three layer look, right? So step it up a little bit. Of course we do have the set it and forget it pieces like the Alexa. I bet 60% of us have an Alexa. If you have an Alexa, E-L-E-X-A, drop a one, okay? That is that awesome three in one piece and it's actually going to help me talk about my next tip. So the first tip is the pulley system. So that's tip number one, the pulley system. The next tip is, and we talked about, we touched on it, is varying your chain widths and textures. So the Alexa is awesome because it does have that three in one, set it and forget it. You found it on the mannequin. It's perfect, ready to go for you, right? You have your dainty layer, your very trendy little heart piece, perfect for Valentine's coming up. If you're um, not a super big heart fan, you might be for Valentine's Day. We have this awesome chunky chain, that Italian paperclip link that everybody is wearing right now, a little bit bold. And then we have this really cool long layer. It gives you that line in the middle to take away from the hips, right? We all need a little bit of cinching sometimes. It gives you height. If you're petite like me, you may need to look a little bit taller so your kids listen to you more, right? Um, but the Alexa is great for that. I love these three-in-ones or two-in-ones we have a lot of because you don't have to wear them together either. So this is perfect as it is, but if you're more of a dainty fan, check this out. Okay, and I did share this in a previous live. If you followed our advent calendar we did, um, I shared the eclair necklace. It's one of my absolute favorite layering pieces right now. Min said, kids don't listen. That is too, you're right, Min. When do they actually listen? When you're bribing them maybe? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so um, did you guys catch my live in the advent calendar about the eclair? I love this one. This one. Um, it's that cute little enamel um, quatrefoil. So enameling is actually a, um, it's a lost art in the jewelry field and it's coming back. And I love that Park Lane has all of these hand painted enamel pieces. So this is the eclair. All right, so bear with me. You're like, what is this lady doing? I love this one because like a lot of our brand new pieces, like the Presley, the Dreamer, it is a um, adjustable toggle. So you can give yourself a little bit of texture, a little bit of dimension, make it a Y look. I love the Eclair because it is reversible. Okay, so you don't have to wear that quatrefoil on the outside if you don't want to. You can wear um, the high polished gold side. Okay, and then you have a fun mixed metal look. You have the heart and the lock. Is that not a perfect Valentine's Day look? All right, and I'm gonna step this up one more time for you ladies. Okay, who has the Saint? Who's a rose gold fan? If you are a rose gold fan and you don't have the Saint, you are missing out, okay? So this is our Saint necklace, again with that awesome Italian paperclip chain, right? Um, I love it, I love it, I love it. We have play with your extenders. We have this awesome faith-based piece, but what you may not have noticed is it also has this little key on it, right? So that little key, what I like to do, you can, if you are crafty, take this pendant off or just flip it around to the back. And then you have this really cool mixed texture, right? You have your heart, your lock, and your key all in um, this tri-tone, which of course those mixed metal looks are really popular right now. And then pair it with something like the lovey bracelet, which I can't find mine, but it's okay. Um, it's perfect with it, right? So you've got that tri-tone look, really fun, really trendy, heart lock and key, perfect for Valentine's Day, wouldn't you agree? Um, ready, set, go, okay? So if you love that, drop some hearts. If it's not for you, don't worry, we have more. If you did love that eclair, of course, we're gonna talk about texture here. We're gonna talk about width. You can do something like a dainty pendant, and I think Brandy shared this last night, actually. So forgive me if you're seeing it again, but you can do that dainty layer with something big and bold, like the brulee. 
So that gives you a little bit of weight. So you shouldn't have an issue playing with your layers there since they do have the similar chain length. That's gorgeous. You could add in something like the CC for that long layer. Absolutely stunning, right? If you wanted to do the Coco Chanel vibe, give yourself some more texture to keep them from getting all intertwined. You could do the CC with the brulee and the eclair. Absolutely beautiful. Um, if you're more of a dainty person and you have a hazy, if you don't have a hazy, it needs to be on your wish list, okay? It has to be on your wish list. I have a hazy in silver. I don't have it in gold, so I'm actually going to use my Misty as the sub for this, but it's that same Italian nugget link, so a little bit um, daintier. I think the Wisp actually... Am I, am I crazy? The Wisp might actually be the same nugget style necklace. Or you have just that textured link with your dainty link. Looks absolutely beautiful. Can we agree? We just love that. Those little nuggets just give it that perfect shimmer, right? Okay. Another one, if you are a big and bold girl, going back to that long layer with the CC that we had on. If you're a pearl girl, get this. The Serenity is also an awesome one I'm going to talk about in a minute. Um, and you guys have probably seen this, but we're talking about textures, right? So mix up your textures. Think um, genuine beads, like the Twyla. Think um, big, bold, and chunky, like the Trudy here. Okay, and you can mix those in with your dainty pieces so you don't have those overlapping... Um, like mixing, you see how mine I have the amulet doubled with the Wiley and the Windsor in blue and they're not getting tangled up. It's because of the varying textures of them. So we've got the CC, we have the Trudy here. And again, layered this, play with it. Looks phenomenal, right? We call this the messy neck because you can't mess it up, ladies. So if you haven't tried it, go ahead and try it. Um, I love our built-in sale. You guys know the Park Lane sale, right? The two and four everyday sale. Some of us call it the Park Lane six pack where you get two items at full price, unlock up to two, four more half off. Build yourself a messy neck look. The best part about this right now is you get not one, but two items. Spend 90, get two bonus items for 30 bucks. Who can beat that? That's literally like between like 10 and $15 per piece and free shipping. I'm here for it, okay? Um, I did mention the Twyla. So if you have the Twyla, um, yours probably has a beautiful, gorgeous glass opal pendant on it. I took mine off because um, I like to wrap it around. Um, this one. It does not have an extender. So what you can do is take a butterfly clip. If you have a clip it, great. If you don't, I use a hair clip, just a little butterfly clip. And you can get this really cool textured, um, multi-layered look with your genuine beaded necklaces. And if you're a hematite fan, it looks really pretty with the atmosphere. But I believe the atmosphere is on the short list. So this one's not available. I'm sure there's a gorgeous one in our brand new line you can grab, but the atmosphere is fun, bold, chunky, kind of like a um, little more edgy style, right? So I'm loving that for you hematite gals. Um, you may also really like, if you're a hematite fan, the Bellagio in silver. This is what we call a popcorn chain. So it's very lightweight if you have issues with um, you know, heavy necklaces, this is exceptionally lightweight. It does have matching earrings. I couldn't decide if I liked the stud or the big bold earring better with my layered necklaces, so I wore both of them for you. But um, we've got the Bellagio here. What you can do, add in a pop of color with, give me one second. I didn't clip that because I'm busy and all of these are tangled. But add in a pop of color with your impression. Just a little dainty layer. And you can do this above or below, and it looks great either way, right? I love it. So you can still wear your dainty pieces 
with your big bold chains. There's no rules, okay? It's your style. So fashion, fashion changes, style is forever, okay? So you can wear whatever you want if you're, it's your style, it's your, your confidence, okay? Jewelry is a confidence builder. I, for one, um, I'm a very self-conscious person. I know it may not seem like it because I'm hopped up on coffee right now, but I am, I'm pretty, not shy, but self-conscious, okay? And I just love this community because everybody makes you feel welcome. And I have met some of the, my, my best friends, honestly, that I've never met in person online because of what we do here. So, um, another textured look for you, rose gold fans and a long layer, okay? We're gonna talk about the third tip because I know I'm getting chatty. The third tip, so tip number one is the pulley system, right? So you're gonna pull on that to make it the, the length you want it. The second one, varying textures, right? The third one is that long layer, okay? So when you talk about layering necklaces, we do have some awesome ones that again, set it and forget it like the Alexa, the fairy tale. Let me find that for you. The fairy tale is gorgeous. I love that this one comes with the dainty layer, that kind of open herringbone, and then this long layer. So let me tell you why long layers are important. Aside from they make us look taller and skinnier. It's winter, it's cold. We're wearing lots of layers already. You may not know how to wear your jewelry, right? Okay, because you've got on a jacket and over that you've got like this big bulky coat. Maybe it's like um, your goose down or your puffer vest, that little teddy bear look, right? And then you probably have a hat and a scarf on, right? And your scarf is all layered up. You look a mess. But what does jewelry do? It brings it all together, right? So that long layer is how you pull yourself together a little bit. Just that little peekaboo. Just like, hey, I showed up today. I may be wearing all these layers, but I still look good. What's underneath that? Hmm, who's that lady? Right, we love it. Wear that long layer. And then when you take your, your scarf off, you still have this gorgeous look ready to go. Right, so let's talk about this. We have the fairy tale here. What are some of your brand new favorite long necklaces in the new line? Drop them below, I wanna see them. I am loving that Presley and the Shania. Those are on my wish list. They were supposed to show up today. My mailman was here. It did not come. I am so sad, <laughs> okay? So I don't have any brand new ones to share with you, very sadly. But maybe are you like an open neck look, like the Portofino? With your scarf, maybe? Do we like, do we like that? Hmm? What about, I like this one. The Bria. This is perfect for spring. And this medallion look is so popular. The zipper necklace. That's the Presley. I'm loving it. I also love the Dreamer. Isn't that beautiful? That Y, that Y necklace. And the Greta. The Greta is like a scarf in itself. I love it, okay? So that's the Bria with your scarf, right? Super cute little peekaboo there. Maybe you want a different color scarf, but you know, we're, jewelry is fun, it's imaginative. I promised you a rose gold look and this is my last one, I think. Let's see, I have some other silver I don't think I showed, but I have to keep this short, so. We've got Galaxy, that's another great long one. We have Shortcake, another great long one. Again, this is a three in one. So if you wanted to, where is my, hold on, there it is. Who doesn't have Galaxy yet? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Rose gold, that pale rose gold with this cute little dainty chain, that white enamel heart, and then the northern star on the bottom. Perfect, trendy piece, right? Wear it with your shortcake. We've got the medallions, just like in the Bria, or the, um, what's that new one with the, um, the medallions on it? Dreamer, and what's the other one? I know Cherub is one. Serenity, is that it? 
I think there's another one. Um, but what I like to do is take out my Northern Star and then you have this really cute tri-layer. You have your dainty layer, your um, heart, your white enamel heart that just looks so cute with your shortcake hearts. It's this perfect little I showed up today look. We love it. If you're a rose gold fan, perfect for Valentine's Day, add it to your wish list. Fable, thank you so much. Yes, so tons of great pieces. When you are making your wish list, I want you to think about that cart, okay? Get yourself some Lana, those awesome cart starters. They're gonna go great with something like your CC or your Serenity or whatever. And then get your necklaces half off. Your Shania's 50 bucks, it's gonna be 25, right? Your Serenity, bonus item, right? So when you add these, think of it, and remember the three tips, right? What are the three tips? Drop them below. One, the pulley system. Two, texture right? And then three is that long layer. Adding a longer layer so that way you can wear your other accessories. Give it that peekaboo. You still still look good, right? Thank you ladies so very much. I had so much fun doing this. I hope you did too. Um, necklaces hold a very near and dear special place in my heart. I absolutely love it because um, it's just something sentimental to you that can really showcase your personal style. So um, I love it. I hope you had fun. Stay warm, stay blessed, and we'll see you guys tonight.